Hi, Young Life. My name is Marissa Brogdon. My students call me Momo, and I'm on staff in California. And I have to say, we're coming upon our one year anniversary of being in quarantine, of being in lockdown, but also of online club. We've all gone virtual here. And our leaders here in Livermore have been taking on a new challenge and talking and giving stories over Zoom is hard, but they have inspired me and motivate me to seek the Lord oh so dearly. And so I wanna tell you a little story. We are focusing on things we love about Jesus. Finishing the sentence, Jesus is blank. And the last couple of weeks we talked about how Jesus is kind, Jesus is focused, Jesus is loyal, steady, and strong. And yes, these are club talks, but I am always fascinated with how the Lord just knows what I need to hear, even though it's meant for the kids, but really God is just speaking to us. And this past week, one of my leaders, who I've known for a long time, he said, you may not know who Jesus is in your heart right now, but he is always there. And I kind of translated to that as, you may not know how much you love, know, and need Jesus in your heart right now, but he is always there. He talked about Jesus calming the storm, um, classic story, but the anchor, that little like, just the thought of an anchor in a ship stuck, stuck true in my heart to this story, to this thing that he said about, you may not know who he is right now, but he's always that anchor. You always can come back to him. I don't know about you, but I've been super confused um, over what to do, where am I going? Even I take it things by hour by hour right now, but I am comforted by the fact that Jesus is kind, focused, loyal, steady, strong, my anchor, even if I'm questioning all of those things. A verse that also just hits me hard every time I read it, hear it, see it, is John 16, 33. And in this passage, they're talking about how all this stuff can go on, all this stuff's gonna happen, but one thing is true. I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Take heart is one of those things, anchor is one of those things that just sits and dwells and you can hold on to it forever. I hope that you take heart. Jesus has overcome all those things, but you also know he is your anchor in all of the mess, even if you do not really understand how much you need Jesus or acknowledge it. I'm praying for you. I hope you have a blessed day and thank you so much for being a Young Life Leader.